Miami-Dade students are getting ready to get back to school when Miami-Dade Public Schools open on Monday. It'll be the first time that many students experience in-person learning since the start of the pandemic. And while there has been a lot of debate over mask mandates, educators say the real issue will be getting those students back up to speed after a year of educational challenges. The welcome back signs are up at Hialeah Gardens Elementary three days before the start of the new school year in Miami-Dade. On Friday, School Superintendent Alberto Carvalho took a walkthrough of the school, stopping by this classroom where second grade teacher Maria Marrero said she's eager to see students again face to face. Yeah, I think they need it. I think they need the social. I think they need the interaction. I think it's easier for them to grow. Not every student can learn through the internet and it's difficult. They know something's happening. They need some normalcy. That is without a doubt my biggest concern uh, and the biggest challenge is to rapidly, effectively accelerate every single child towards their academic potential. Uh, eliminating uh, the learning loss that they experienced during s months of social isolation. At Hylia Gardens, Carvalho stopped by the cafeteria where students will be socially distanced while they eat. Signs will be everywhere reminding them that face masks are required indoors. And each school will have a medical observation room staffed by at least one health care professional. The presence of a health professional, uh, health trained individual in every single school, that means a nurse, an EMT at every single school, uh, screening and observation rooms uh, in every single school monitored by those individuals to ensure that if there is a contact, there is an immediate response that is responsible and is monitored by a professional. After weeks of debating mass mandates, Carvalho is hoping the focus will now shift to the educational needs of the nation's fourth largest school district. Now it's time for us to reunify in one single focal point, and that is the well-being and the academic need of every single child of our community. Carvalho said the district has 80 new initiatives that include tutoring, mental health counseling, support for the arts and magnet programs.